Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. We've all learned that valves in internal combustion engines are operated by means of a cam and follower mechanism. These cams are available in various shapes and sizes and are used based on the requirements. In this video, we're going to discuss the different types of cams and followers. Before moving on to the types, let's discuss how a cam and follower mechanism works. A cam is a mechanical device that is used to achieve the desired reciprocating or translating motion. A cam and follower setup consists of three members. The cam acts as the driving member and the follower acts as the driven member. The third member is the frame which acts as a guide for the follower. The follower is placed on the cam and the profile of the cam is designed in such a way to achieve the desired motion. As the cam rotates, its varying cross-section makes the follower reciprocate. This is how the mechanism works. Now, let's move on to discuss the types of cams. Cams can be classified into several types based on their shapes. There are radial cams, cylindrical cams, wedge cams, conjugate cams, globoidal cams, and spherical cams. Let's see the types one by one. The radial cam is simple and is made from a flat plate. The circumference of the cam is designed in such a way as to provide the desired motion. Hence, it's also known as a plate or disc cam. In this type, the axis of the cam is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the follower. The next type is the cylindrical cam, which is also known as a barrel or drum cam. This cam has a cylindrical shape and there is a groove cut on its surface. The follower follows the path of the groove. In this type, the axis of the cam is parallel to the direction of motion of the follower. The third type is the wedge cam. This type of cam is in the shape of a wedge and here the cam has a sliding motion. Then we have the conjugate cam. This cam is provided with two rollers that are connected to the follower. The rollers constrain the motion of each other and this type of cam is used for noiseless operation. Then we have the globoidal cam. It is similar to the cylindrical cam, but the surface of the cam will be either concave or convex. In this type, the follower oscillates about the fulcrum. And now we have the spherical cam, where the cam is in the shape of a sphere provided with a groove over which the follower moves. Here, the oscillation of the follower will be perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the sphere. With this, we have seen the different types of cams. Now, let's move on to the types of followers. The followers can be classified into several types based on their shape, position, and type of motion. When it comes to shape, Followers are classified into knife edge follower, roller follower, flat faced follower, and spherical faced follower. Knife edge followers have a pointed end, and this setup is simple and compact, but this type of follower encounters more wear. In order to minimize the wear, roller followers are used. Roller followers have a roller at the end of the follower stem. The roller rotates with the cam reducing the sliding motion by rolling action, resulting in minimal wear. Then we have the flat-faced followers. Here, as the name suggests, the follower has a flat contact surface. This type of follower is used for quick motion, but it develops high surface tension in case of misalignment and deflection. For overcoming the disadvantage of the flat-faced follower, spherical-faced followers are used. Here, the contact area of the follower is in spherical shape, which results in lesser wear and lesser tension. Now, let's move on to the types of followers based on position. They're classified into two types, the inline follower and the offset follower. If the axis of the follower coincides with the center of the cam, then it is said to be the inline follower, whereas if the axis of the follower is at an offset from the center of the cam, then it is said to be the offset follower. In addition to all these, followers can be classified into two types based on the type of motion. If the motion of the follower is in a straight line, then it is said to be translating follower. But if the follower is pivoted, it will have oscillating motion and those followers are said to be oscillating followers. So that's it guys. With this, we've seen the different types of cams and followers. We'll meet up in another video. Until then, bye.